This is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop, and we're back to work on the AV number no. two forehead drill press. Today we're going to be evaluating the uh, base. So we got all the tables and stuff off it, got the legs off it, got it stripped down and cleaned up, getting it prepped to be uh, stripped. Um, I said in earlier videos that there was some welding down here on the base, and I don't know if that color is showing up. That's actually uh, bronze from uh, brazing it. And it uh, doesn't look, you know, terrible. doesn't look great. I don't see any more uh, cracks. This I thought this was a crack, but someone took a grinder cut down there. It's just filled with oil. Besides that, you know, it's looking good. Nothing major. The ways on the table look good. Clean up nice. Um, I'm debating what to do with this repair. This is an original Navy repair. The uh, person I bought this from still had the paperwork when they bought it from the Navy in 1957, I want to say it was. And in that documentation... It listed this repair. Um, you know, it doesn't affect the machine at all. You know, of course, when you restore these, you like them to be, you know, mint brand new. But, you know, this is part of the history of this machine. It was built or purchased for the Navy. Uh, it came out of a destroyer. I don't remember the name, but it was on the paperwork. And here is a repair from them. So, it's on the base... You know, it's structurally sound. Uh, I'm leaning towards leaving it. Because that's part of the history of this machine. It's not going to affect it in any way. You know, accuracy wise or usability wise. It's just, you know, part of what this machine is. So that's where I'm, that's where I'm leaning right now. We'll see if that changes. So I got some... Uh, paint stripper I'm going to start covering this with. It's just a citrus strip from Home Depot. We'll give that a coating and see what that does. My experience with it is, is it will lift some of it really dramatically, but we will be probably wire wheeling uh, about 80% of this machine. Yeah, besides that, let's take a look. The top. Top's good. Um, I'm going to come up with some sheet metal covers for these and had them originally um, clean up this of course still haven't decided how I'm going to wire the new heads in clean all that up and then when it comes to these tags I'd like to restore this um I don't really know how to go about, like, it was originally a black background. So, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Because I like to keep it looking, you know, original. Um, the other plates on it. I'll find them. You know, this is just brass, and I'll just take all the paint off that and shine it up. That'll look nice on there. So yeah, we will get this uh, get this guy covered in the paint remover, and we'll see what happens. I will bring you back. Okay, here's a little look on the progress. This has been on there for about, oh, about an hour. And as you can see, kind of my general experience with this. The first coating 
Everything comes off very nice and easy. You know, I took that first layer off real quick. Just peel it off there. But it didn't seem to touch the surface behind it. So over here is an area I cleaned and recoated. So that's a th second layer. Now another thing I've noticed too, this is not the first uh, Navy machine I have restored. Now given the uh, environment of these machines, I mean, yes, it's inside the ship, but still. Um, sometimes this base layer, I don't know if it's epoxy or what it is, but no paint stripper is going to take this off. I've tried the aviation type strippers and all that, and um, this don't seem to get through it, so that will be a wire wheel, of course. But it's helpful just to get these layers off for the... Uh, Minimal amount of effort, you know, putting that stuff on there and scraping it off does. Plus, it cleans it. Um, when I get it all stripped, I'm going to primer it all. And I'm even going to primer the ways. Um, I'll go back and take all the paint off them. The reason is, once this is all stripped, um, it'll rust very quickly. And I don't want to primer it and put oil on the ways. You have a chance of getting that into the area where the final color is going to be. So, for now, I'll just primer the whole thing. So, I will bring you back. And we're back. And it's been another couple hours. And let's see how our second coat is doing. Got the scraper here. Oh, it's... Taking off some of it. Not quite as dramatic as the first, but. Yeah, we're done. Um, some interesting colors on it down here. Sometimes when you buy these from like a colleges or schools or other ins institutions they will be uh painted some very uh bold colors okay so i'm going to continue to scrape these off but uh i think tomorrow we're gonna go to the wire wheel so let the stuff sit a while longer i'll strip it all tonight and tomorrow we will begin the, uh, the rather fun and long job of uh, stripping it. Uh, this actually shouldn't take that long. It's mostly flat. There's some curves and stuff down there, but nothing we can't get the old wire wheel into. So, um, look for that video coming soon. I've also got some uh, more repair videos shot that I'll upload getting to be that season so this is adam with a small town machine shop please comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching